to session 4 how to make your ideas compelling and how to make a memorable introduction. Hello Bowtie Schoolers! Welcome to Bowtie School and welcome to session 4 how to make your ideas memorable and how to attract the audience attention in your introduction. In the previous session 3, we talked about how to build your confidence and control nerves before going on stage or before performing a speech. Now, let's talk about how to attract audience attention. In the first 15 seconds, the audience is going to judge if they are going to listen to you throughout your whole speech and if you're worth, and if you're worth spending the time on. Okay. So, now that we know that we only have 15 seconds to attract the audience's attention, let's see how we can do it. The first thing you want to do before starting your speech and your introduction is defining what is the purpose of your speech. Define what is the main takeaway from your speech or your presentation or your conversation you want to make with someone or with an audience. You can have general or specific purpose. You want to inform, entertain or to give a general information. No matter what, are, what is the purpose, you want to have it defined before starting your speech so that you can build the whole body and the whole conclusion based on this purpose. Now that you have the purpose, let's see what techniques can be used to attract and to grab the audience attention in the first 15 seconds. We're gonna talk about three techniques that can be used to attract audience attention in the beginning. First one, interesting fact or statistics. Now before saying statistics is boring, let me try to persuade you that this is a good introduction. I'll give an example. Hello everyone! My name is Ina and today I'm going to talk about how important this public speaking is in your life and in your career. Hmm, not many people are going to be interested in see, uh, listening this public speaking uh, importance in your life, right? Now let me try again. Do you know that by practicing only two hours per week, you are improving your communication and public speaking skills? up to 80% and this is improving your chances of success in your career. Was this better now? By saying an interesting fact or a statistic, statistical fact, you are giving an audience, the audience something that they can be clicked on, something that they can look for in your search and they are going to expect you to prove these statistics. So, by starting with an interesting fact or statistics, you are getting the audience attention in the first 15 seconds. Second technique is starting your introduction by a rhetorical question. Let me give two examples again. Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about why smoking is so dangerous for your health and why is making people sick and why it's causing lung cancer. Hmm. I know there are many smokers out there in the audience and do you think they are going to be interested in listening my lung cancer speech and my smoking speech? No. Let me try again. Have you ever thought that by smoking you are reducing life expectancy and you can die before fulfilling your potential and your goals? Was this slightly better or was this much better now? By giving a rhetorical question, starting your speech by a rhetorical question, you're giving the audience something that they should be wondering and something that they're asking themselves. Hmm, really if I smoke, my life get, is getting reduced and I may die young? Right, starting with a rhetorical question, in the first 15 seconds, in your introduction, you are getting your audience attention and they start wondering about your speech and asking themselves and they are going to listen to you throughout the whole speech. The third technique for 
getting the audience attention in the first 15 seconds is personal story. By giving a personal story, giving something in your life, something even a funny situation or an interesting situation or whatever from your life, you are connecting with the audience. The audience wants to connect with you, want to know you on a personal level and they will be interested in your anecdote or your personal story. That's how they are going to connect with you at the beginning. You're going to get their attention and they want to listen to your, your speech and your story throughout the whole body, main body. I hope you find these techniques useful for making your ideas compelling, making your introduction compelling and getting the audience attention. In the next session, we are going to talk about how to develop the main body and how to maintain the audience attention throughout the whole speech. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye!